In Qing Dynasty, the highest rank in the inner court was Huang Hou, the Empress. Only the Empress was considered as the wife of the Emperor. All other women were concubines. If the Emperor inherited the throne when he was a kid, the Empress' daughter or the Grand Empress' daughter elected an Empress for him through an election event called the Xuan Xiu. Actually, before election event, who became the Empress was already decided. The election was only a process. If the Emperor was married when he was the Prince, his wife became the Empress. If the Prince's wife passed away before her husband became the Emperor, she could be posthumously promoted to be the Empress. For Empress election, the family heritage was the most important consideration. The beauty was least important. Qing Empress didn't have any decisional power on the state affairs, but she was the true head of the inner court. For example, the emperor couldn't sleep with a consort without the emperor's permission. Under the empress, the emperor could have one imperial noble consort, Huang Guifei. In Qing Dynasty, the imperial noble consort was considered as the wise empress. To respect the empress, the imperial noble consort rarely existed with the empress in the same time. Usually, the Qing emperor promoted an imperial noble consort in four situations. First, the empress passed away. The emperor promoted an imperial noble consort who took the empress' responsibilities. Second, when the empress' beloved noble consort was hopelessly sick, the emperor promoted her to the imperial noble consort to comfort her. Third, the emperor promoted his dead important consort to the imperial noble consort. Fourth, the emperor promoted late empress consort as the imperial noble consort of the late emperor. Under the imperial noble consort, the emperor at most had two noble consorts, Gui Fei. Because when the empress was alive, the empress rarely promoted an imperial noble consort. Generally, the noble consort was the extra highest rank of concubines. For example, the empress daughter Cixi, who was the extra ruler of the country in late Qing dynasty, when her husband, the Emperor Xianfeng, was alive, Cixi's highest rank was the noble consort. Under the noble consort, the emperor at most had four consorts, Fei. The consort was an important rank. Under the emperor's permission, they could help the empress to manage the inner court. Under the consort, the emperor could have six the imperial concubine, Ping. The imperial concubine was the rank distinguishing between the high-rank concubine and lower-rank concubine. For example, the imperial concubine was the last rank that had Chao Fu, the imperial dress. So they had chance to join some high-level formal events. Below imperial concubines, there were three ranks of concubines, noble lady, 
贵人 first class female attendant, 常在 and the choice lady, 答应 There was no limited numbers in each rank of those three kinds of concubines. Usually, the emperor put the new elected concubines to those three lower rank, then promote them according to his favor. After the emperor passed away, his empress automatically became the emperor's daughter. 皇太后 if the new emperor wasn't born by the empress, his biological mother. Also was promoted to the empress daughter. If the empress daughter lived long enough, when her grandson became the emperor, she became the grand empress daughter, 太皇太后 Late empress other concubines usually were promoted to the consort daughter, but is not required. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.